Whether it's with his fists or his acting, this bulky Brit will leave you breathless. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today, we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 Tom Hardy movie moments. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, in celebration of the war flick Dunkirk, we'll be looking at actor Tom Hardy's most iconic scenes over the course of his career. As you might expect, be prepared for a few spoilers down the line. Number 10, a proper shootout, legend. Oh, mate, can I get two Guinnesses, please? We're not sure what's more impressive here. The fact that Tom Hardy was able to play dual roles in the same scenes with complete distinction, or that he portrayed the infamous Cray twins to perfection. You can do me that. You'll bake me a cake. They sing me a song, watch me blow out me f***ing candles. As Reggie and Ronnie Cray, he brings suaveness, instability, violence, and even a bit of comedy to his performance. Nowhere is this better emphasized than when the duo come up against a rival group of gangsters, only for Ronnie to be outraged that they hadn't brought guns, thus ruining his dream of a shootout. I come here for a f***ing shootout, right? A proper shootout with some proper men. Number 9. The course of your life is changing. Lawless. What I'm trying to say is is that the course you love, you know, it is changing. As the elder Bondurant, Forrest has a duty to take care of his brothers and impart a little wisdom. He also has a duty to beat the crap out of anyone who crosses his family. In this scene, he manages to accomplish both. When his younger sibling Jack is held at knife point, Forrest first confuses the attacker by letting him know how directionless life truly is. We got no way to understand this world. We got about as much sense of it as bird flying in the sky. Only to knock him senseless with a set of brass knuckles. Guess the guy's life was indeed changing to one governed by brain damage. What are you talking about? <coughs> Number eight, conversation with father, Locke. It's a familiar predicament to a man like you, isn't it, Dad? Two hours of nothing but Tom Hardy driving a car might seem too boring a premise to get invested in, but given the weight of the character and his burdens, our boy Tom manages to turn it into a one-man masterclass. I would pull open your eyes and kick the mud and worms and shit out of your f***ing ears just for the duration of this journey. As he nears his destination, Ivan Locke is put through an emotional ringer as more and more of his secrets come to light, eventually leading to an imaginary conversation with his dead father. You think this is all fate, don't you, Dad? It's in these moments we see just how much Locke resented dear old dad, his abandonment issues making him strive toward being a better person despite his many mistakes. Besides, how can you not love that Welsh accent? You have to be solid so that it makes no difference what they think. Number seven, the bar, the drop. I'm happy to pay you 10 grand for the door. He may not look that intimidating in this scene, but this Brooklyn bartender more than proves that when push comes to shove, it's the quiet ones you have to watch out for. While attempting to pay for an abused dog from the hands of a violent thug, it's slowly revealed that the reserved Bob Saganowski is actually the one responsible for a murder that said thug had previously taken credit for. Kid had to be killed. The startling revelation is soon followed by Bob whipping out a gun and blasting the unsightly goon into a bloody mess. You can always count on Tom Hardy to leave a body trail in a movie at one point or another. I'm tired of you, man. I'm tired of you, you embarrass me. Number six, final fight, Warrior. Tell me, this is the final, I expect a clean fight. In a rather violent family reunion, two separated brothers find themselves as opponents in the final round of an MMA tournament, and neither are backing down without a fight. As Tommy Reardon, Tom Hardy portrays a former Marine whose apathetic views are only matched by his abilities in the ring. <laughs> With Joel Edgerton's Brendan fighting for the sake of his family, the final confrontation between these two is as emotional as it is brutal. Even with a broken arm, Tommy just doesn't know when to quit. Tommy! What are you doing? Shut up, man. Number 5. Max vs. Furiosa. Mad Max, Fury Road. While Max revealing his name to a wounded Furiosa was also a poignant moment, our pick of the litter has to go to the unlikely duo's first and rather vicious exchange. Believing him to be just another member of Immortan Joe's band of toxic cultists, the one-armed Imperador lays a stellar beatdown on Max, who's forced to defend himself while chained up in the worst possible way. It's a desperate struggle that really shows off the character's desire to live in spite of horrendous circumstances, with neither pulling any punches. Number four, rub it in, Bronson. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna put my body paint on, that's what I'm gonna do. 
Hardy's portrayal of Britain's most notorious inmate was as surreal as it was bloody, and nowhere do we see that better than in this scene, which manages to be both a strange blend of comedy and genuine tension. After trapping a librarian in his cell, Charles Bronson prepares himself for the fight to come by stripping down to the nude and demanding his hostage rub his entire body with body paint. Rub it right down my back, go on, down my back and my legs. We couldn't make this up if we tried. That said, kudos to Tom Hardy for fully committing to the role, butt rubs and all. Number three, Glass vs. Fitzgerald, The Revenant. <laughs> Honestly, after all the crap that Hugh Glass went through due to the actions of his former trapper pal, we'd say he'd more than earned his revenge via a brutal fight to the death. As a villain we just love to hate, Tom Hardy's Fitzgerald refuses to lay down and die, making the exchange almost as grisly as Glass's earlier running with a bear. But even in the wild, karma can still come back and bite you, as Fitzgerald gets cut to ribbons, scalped by a very unhappy band of Arakara, and sent coursing down the river. Number two, dream a little bigger, Inception. If you're gonna perform Inception, you need imagination. Eames will go down as one of Christopher Nolan's most underrated characters brought to life by Tom Hardy's brilliant wit, charm, and general cheekiness. As a fence, Eames would play a crucial part in the mind jack of Robert Fisher, able to forge new identities and disguise himself while in the dream world. Of course, his crowning moment came where he one-upped Joseph Gordon-Levitt's Arthur by showing his mastery of dream manipulation and pulling out a weapon twice as big as his. Guess size does matter. You mustn't be afraid to dream a little bigger, darling. Number one, Breaking the Bat, The Dark Knight Rises. Let's not stand on ceremony here, Mr. Wayne. If there's a man we can imagine being strong enough to take on the Caped Crusader, Tom Hardy certainly springs to mind. Capturing the raw ferocity of the masked villain Bane, the former member of the League of Shadows made quite the impact as he proceeded to break Batman down piece by piece. He saw through his deceptions and outdid him in every physical aspect. And the creme de la creme? He broke his back. While many claim to have wounded the Dark Knight, it's Tom Hardy's interpretation of Bane that managed to take him out of commission, at least for half the movie. Your spirit? Oh, you bunny! Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.